Welcome to Model Lessons in Mathematics, Elementary Science and Technology, Social Studies, Creative Arts, Physical Education for Lower Primary Grades, produced by Rwanda Education Board in collaboration with the World Bank. Okay, hope you are verifying. Uh, my name is Teacher Bernard. I'm going to teach you Mathematics P3. Um, since it is not our first lesson, because this is lesson uh, four, it means we have already talked about very many lessons. Now, uh, we shall not repeat all what we have been discussing. Uh, instead, I want us to first look at these small, small numbers and then we see. Uh -huh. um, who can read for us this? This is the one. Wonderful. Um, how about this? Four. Good. Uh -huh. uh, how about this? Nine. Beautiful. Uh, uh, now let me bring a big one. Uh -huh. Yes? Seven is seven. Okay. But there is a way we can read it. Yes? Seven to seven. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Hmm, can I change again? Yes, one, two, six. Okay, now can we read it together? 126. Very good. Uh -huh. hey, yes, ah, 1040. Beautiful. Uh huh. Yes, 1,256. Marvelous. Good. Uh -huh. I bring another one. Okay, let it be the last one. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. All of us, it is 8,019. This one shows that we learned how to write numbers in it. What do you see? Uh -huh. How about if we say... Um, this one, and then this one, yes. They are all four, four, isn't it? Very good. Uh -huh. How have you known that they are all four, four? Because you learnt them. Beautiful? Good. Now, um, we have seen how we read those numbers, and I don't want to take much time on that. I want us to start looking at these things. Uh -huh. Let me begin with this one. Look at this and look at this. Uh -huh. What can you say? They are the same. Yes, they are masking tapes, okay. Uh -huh. What else? This one is small and this one is big. Very good. Uh -huh. How have you known that? By looking at their sizes. Beautiful. Uh -huh. ah, let me bring another one. Okay. Yes. Ah, <laughs> these ones are called what? Lulas. But this one is, uh, is broken. No, it is not broken. Yes, it is not broken. Yeah. Yes, this one is yellow. What about this one? White. Sure. Okay, maybe. Uh -huh. Yes, what else can you say about them? I bring them together. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, yes, this one is small, this one is big. Good, what else? Uh -huh. Again, yeah, these very rulers. Uh -huh. This one is short, this one is long, beautiful. Uh -huh. I bring others, I have very many things here. Let us look at these ones. How do you call them? They are tennis. Okay, uh -huh. good. Then we look at them. Are they the same really? Sure, yes. Okay, they are equal. Very good. Uh -huh. Can we have another one? We have very many, my dear. Uh -huh. Look at them. Yes? This one has water, this one doesn't have. Okay. Uh -huh. That is according to you. That is also okay. Look at them again. Yes. This one is small and this one is very big. But how have you known that? You have compared them and looked at the sizes. You are the best. Can we continue? Uh -huh. Oh, I have even this one who's here. Uh -huh. What is this? 
It is a book. How about this one? Also a book. Okay. Uh -huh. Look at them and tell me something. Yes? This one is small. This one is big. Okay, good. So we have small books and big books. Okay, I know some of you like big books, like me. Uh -huh. Very good. We continue. Oh, okay, no problem. Let us look at these ones also. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The name? Pieces of chalk. Beautiful. Yes, they are pieces of chalk. Now say something about them. Uh -huh. Yes. They have the same size and height. Very good. So they are the same. Beautiful. So, in summary, in summary, what we are trying to do is to compare things or compare objects. We are trying to compare objects. So I think you can see. When we are comparing, it doesn't only end here, but even out there, even where you are now, you can look at things and start comparing. Yes, uh -huh. like which other things? Oh, you are saying the sitting room and then the, the bathroom. Okay, now which one is smaller? You will tell me later. Uh -huh. What else? Yes, the chair and the table. Very good. There are very many things we can compare. Yes, and that is why we do comparing here. Now, that is exactly what we want to look at here today. So our lesson is comparing numbers. Uh, we have seen how to compare numbers in uh, our previous lessons, and we are still continuing. Today we are going to compare numbers which are less or equal to 10,000. That means we have added on another big place value, which is that, who can guess? Yes? 10,000. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. We have added on another big place value, which is 10,000. So today, we are comparing numbers which are either equal or uh, less than 10,000. Good. Uh, let us look at uh, our first example. <laughs> what are we going to use? These are the symbols we are using. We have, you still remember? Oh, yes, greater than. We use which hand? Right, greater than. Uh -huh. How about this one? Yes, left hand. It is less than. All of us, less than. Good. Uh -huh. How about this one? Equals, good. Equals, all of us, equals, good. Now, when do we use the first one? When do we use the second one? When do we use the third one? Even before we start uh, comparing our numbers. Yes? What does it mean? Okay, what does uh, greater than mean? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. good. It means bigger. Greater means bigger. How about less than? Smaller, beautiful. How about e equals the same? You are wonderful. So that is the, uh, uh, that's the meaning of those symbols. So when do we use the first one? When the first number is e bigger. When do we use the second one? When the first number is e smaller. You are the best. Uh -huh. Yes? When the numbers are all the same. Beautiful. So, after seeing the meaning of those symbols uh, and how we use them, where they are used, now we are going to look at these big numbers. They are big. Yes. Yes. But they are not bigger than our big place value. Uh -huh. So, the first one is saying, compare 6,657 and 9,876. We compare them using our symbols. Someone has already known the, the symbol we are going to use. Sure. Ah, okay. But uh, last time we said, we said we can use uh, place values. Since we are talking about place values, we can use these place values to help us to compare those numbers very well. Very, very, very well. So here is our place value chart with the place values which we are supposed to use to look at those numbers very well. Very good. That is our chart. Can we all read these place values? 
Yes? We begin from the other side. Okay. And how we go? All of us? Ones. Tens. Hundreds. And thousands. Very good. Thousands. Very good. So those are our place values. Now, in these place values, uh, that is where we are going to put our numbers. Then we look at them and see which one is bigger, which one is smaller. And we see the symbol we are going to use. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Now, the first one is 6657. So 60 will go to thousands. We put the place values here. Okay. No problem. We can do it. We can do it. There is no problem. This is the ones, tens, Hundreds and thousands. Beautiful. Even there, no problem. Uh huh. We begin from here. No. It is always easy. One is good. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Very good. Uh huh. Now, do you see? Now it is very easy for us to pick a number, put it in the place value. So we begin with the 60. Put it in which place value? In thousands. Very good. Number six, number six, where are you? Oh, is it here? Is it here? Good. Number six. So put number six in the right place value. Which is that? Thousands. Very good. Uh -huh. The next one is what? The next one is six again. Good. So we look for six. Number six, number six, number six. Aha, uh -huh. beautiful. Is it here? The good thing they are not hiding. Which place value? Hundreds. Good. Uh huh. Good. In e, hundreds. Very nice. Very nice. Which number again? Which number again? It is a five. Very good. So number five. Number five. Oh, good. Is here. Is here. Yes. Which place value? Is in e? tens. Good. 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 Uh huh. That is e, in e, tens. Uh -huh. The remaining number is e, seven. Very good. Good. Number seven. Yeah, is here. Is here. Good. I've liked it. Uh -huh. Number seven in the remaining place e, value. So that is now our first e, number. Now let us look at the second number. It begins with nine. In e, thousands. Beautiful. Nine, 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 nine. nine. Uh -huh. Good. Nine is right here. Nine is right here. So we have nine. We said it is in thousands. Okay, good. Ah, that is nine. The next one is eight. Eight is in which place value? Hundreds. Very good. Very good. Very good. That is eight in hundreds. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. eight is here. Do we all see? Is it so? Good. In which place value? Hundreds. Good. Ah, uh, is that so? Is that uh, hundreds? Oh, good. Uh -huh. Next, is it seven? Beautiful. Seven. Seven is in it. Ten is okay. Number seven, where are you? Seven, 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 seven. Uh -huh. Ah, good. It's also here. It's also here. Good. Number seven. Ah. Uh. So we are remaining with one place. Which number is there? Six. Good. Uh -huh. So six in that place value. Good. Yeah, good. That is our six. Ah. So we have 6,657. We compare it with 9,876. The numbers are there. Yes, the numbers are there. Now we look at the two numbers. Who still remembers what we said last time? Yes? We begin with the biggest place value. Actually, the bad thing, is you are very far, but I would give you a very beautiful hug, but no problem. Uh -huh. Yes, thousands is the biggest place value. Now look at 60 and 9. You see how we now compare our numbers? The biggest place value, you look at the numbers which are there and see which one is bigger or which one is smaller. So the one which is smaller becomes the smallest number and the one which is bigger, that will be the biggest number. Now look at 60 and 9. Which one is bigger? 
It is a name. Yes? And remember last time we said, yes, it eats what is bigger. Which one? The fish. Good. So which one will it eat? It will eat nine. Beautiful. So uh, our fish is going to eat nine. Now I want someone to give us the name of this symbol. Yes, it is less than. Very good. So 6,657 is less than 9,876. Uh, 9, Do you see how simple these numbers are? Huh? Do you see how comparing is very interesting? Beautiful. What are we remaining with? To underline. Good. Ah, we are done with our first number. You see? Have we got it very well? We do another one. Very wonderful. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, before we do uh, our second number, I think we have now got a picture. We have now got something. Yes? Yes? We do something. Sure. Ha. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us just count. Yes? We count it. Oh, we compare. Okay, let us compare. Uh -huh. Using our hands. No problem. Ah, you may not read it for me. Don't read it for me. Uh -huh. We have now got it. Yes? We have now got it. For one. Which is simple. Just put up the arm. Yes? This one? This one? Which one? For one, yes? Yes? Four is bigger, so greater than. Very good. Uh -huh. Ah, that is enough. Now, you want to read it for us? Okay, we shall do it together. Uh -huh. Use greater than, less than, or equal to compare the numbers below. Which numbers? 8, 6, 5, 4. We read it as 8,654. Compare it with 8, 6, 5, 3, which we read as 8,653. Yes. Now we compare these two numbers. You say you can do it right there. Ah, that means I've done some good work. I even deserve some good flowers. You want to come and give me a hug tomorrow? Uh huh? Yes. So we compare our numbers. How do we compare them? Yes? Using our place values. Using our place values. Okay? Um, before we use our place values, yes? We have already done these numbers. You have already done it. Okay, let us do it together with the others. I can see that one has not yet done it. Let's do it there together. Uh huh. Yes. Hmm. So we still put these numbers on our chart. Very nice. Yes, on our chart. The first number, remember, it is 8,654 and 8,000. 653. Yes, we still use our chart. So on our chart, let us first remove these ones, and then we put our new numbers. Thank you for helping us. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Yes. So our first number is... Eight, and the eight is in which place value? Eight is in which place value? So we put place values first. Thank you. I had forgotten. I don't forget. Ah, I do. Yes. Uh -huh. So yes, ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Very good. That is our first number. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, the second number also. Good. So the second number, 
Zero. Ah, do we have a place value called zero? It is one with yes. Uh huh. We read it. Ten is good. Mm -hmm. Next. Hundreds. Beautiful. Yes. And all of us see thousands. Ah. Uh. So there we are now. I think you can see. We can now have our numbers on our big chart, which has all the place values. Beginning with 8,653, we put these numbers on our chart. Where the place value is, the way we place that number. Okay. Which one do we begin with? It is 80. Uh -huh. 18 thousand. Very good. Number eight, number eight, number eight, number eight, number eight. Uh huh. Very good. Good. Our eight is here. Eight is here. Yes. In thousands. So, uh huh. Here, this is ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So we have our eight. Good. That is eight. We can use the second part. No problem. Uh huh. That is eight. That is our first number. Uh huh. The second one is six. Yes, six. Uh huh. So six in hundred. See, good. Uh huh. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number. Uh huh. Very nice. Number six is here. Number six is here. Do you all see it very well? Good. Number 60. Which place value? 100. Good. 60 is in 100. Ah. We are remaining with how many? Two. Good. The next one is 5. 5. Yes? Uh -huh. Which place value? 10. Is. Uh -huh. Look for 5. Come and help me. 5. Yes? Oh, aha, uh -huh. our five is here, thank you. Five is here, so five in tens. So five in tens. Uh. You see, we are remaining with one place value. Which number is there? Four, very good. And this four is right here, is right here. Yes, yes, uh -huh. four in ones. And our number is, we go together, 8,654. That is our first number. Good. The second number also begins with the eight. Very good. Eight in thousands. So we look for eight. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. You still uh, remember how to make eight? Yes? Ah, do it for me. Yes? How do you do it? We touch our waist. Yes? Eight. Eight. Do you see? Very interesting. Very good. Uh -huh. So we look for our eight. Number eight. Yes, it's here. So eight. In which place value? Thousands. Good. Good. Thousands. Uh -huh. That is our eight. Next is it? Hundreds. In which place value? Six in e? hundreds. Very good. Number six. Number six. Where is number six? Aha. Good. Number six is here. Number six is here. Good. Number six. Yes. Next is e? five in e? tens. Very good. Five in e? tens. What is this number five? Where is this number five? Very good. Is here. Yes, five is here. Uh -huh. Five, remember, is in e tens. Good. Do you know how to make a five? Yes? Two arms, our two legs, plus our head. That is e five. Good. So five. We are remaining with e one number in e ones. Good. A three. Very good. How do we make three? Yes? One arm, our two legs. Good. Uh -huh. Yes, three is here. Very good. Three is here in our last place value. Uh. Now our second number is there. 
We read 8,653. What is remaining now? To compare them. Good. Uh -huh. Beginning from where? Thousands. Uh -huh. So here we have eight and eight. They are the same. Oh, what do we do? So the numbers are the same. We go to the next place value. Very good. Uh -huh. So eight and eight are the same. They are the same. Meaning we don't compare from here because they are the same. Okay? So that means we go to the next place value. Look at them. We have six and six. Again, they are the same. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah? Again, we go to the next place value. Wonderful. Uh -huh. We go to tennis. Where we have five, five. They are also the same. So does it mean this number is equal? Sure. The last place value. Okay. Uh -huh. Now we go to one uzi. At least here we have four and three. Now you can see. Which one is bigger? Four and three. Yes, three? Uh, yes, it is a uh, four. So four is bigger than three. What does it mean? The number which has four is bigger than the number which has three. So which one will our big fish eat? The first number. You are the beast. Marvelous. So the fish is going to eat our first number. What is the name of this symbol now? Yes, we all say greater than, beautiful, very nice class. Uh -huh. We underline our work very well. Now, children, I think you have seen how we compare different numbers. I want you to go out there, yes, and start comparing different things, okay? So that uh, you can use the knowledge we have learned here to compare things out there, okay? Okay? Tomorrow, tomorrow, yes, you will be doing different things which require comparing. Um, I would give you some numbers to try there right now, but time will not allow us. So that means, that means, uh, I will leave you with the, some homework, yes? So using our idea we have learned, the idea we have got from our numbers, I want you to compare these numbers using those symbols, okay? You have been good children. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Bye-bye.